Shalom family. So I was reading in the word and just spending some time with God and he had me in Proverbs 27. And when I got to verse 17 to 19, something was shown to me and it is really special. And I want to share it with you. You might appreciate it. You might not. But here goes. Proverbs 27 verse 17 to 19 says, as iron sharpens iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. We believers are sharpening each other in the word, in our walk, in our knowledge, as we learn and as we grow closer to Christ every day. So we get that, right? And we can really unpack that first verse. The next one is where the eyes open up a bit. Whoever keeps the fig tree will eat its fruit. So he who waits on his master will be honored. Right? The fig tree, many times in scripture, is representative of Israel. The fig tree generation. Whoever keeps the fig tree will eat of its fruit. Is that not interesting to look into and see what that means? Because us who support Israel, pray for Israel, stand with Israel in a world gone mad with anti-Israel hatred, even in the church. We are eating from its fruit. We are learning from the Hebrew. We are discovering amazing revelations about God hidden deeper in the scriptures in the Old Testament. We are finding deeper meaning in cultural items we never knew from the day of Jesus Christ. All these things. We are eating from that fruit. We are growing deeper into the feasts and the understandings and everything. So who, he who waits on his master will be honored we are awaiting the lord we are watching for the lord's return eagerly waiting for him and then it continues in verse 19 as in water face reflects face so a man's heart reveals the man so you'll know the true believers by their heart and you'll know them by their countenance you'll know it the fruit will be evident but now i want to go back to verse 18 first of all whoever keeps the fig tree will eat its fruit now the hebrew word there for keeps noser means to watch to guard to keep a watcher a watchman a watchman observe we are observing israel we are watching we are keeping and standing and guarding israel against attack we are praying for them whoever keeps the fig tree we the watching people, believers, the watchman community, the watchers, we are watching and we are guarding and keeping Israel in prayer and we are eating its fruit. That's the Greek. Now, if we go on and it says, so he who waits on his master will be honored. Now, the Greek word, not the Greek word, the Hebrew word, vasomer, over here, vasomer. So he who waits, so he who waits on his master and the word breaks down here as to keep, to watch, to preserve, waiting, watches, watching, watchman and watchman is pretty much the same. He who is watching for his master will be honored. You who are watching every day, watching the signs, watching the feasts, watching what's happening in the world, watching the things Jesus warned us about, watching every warning sign he shouted about, watching anything that they're trying to distract you from. You who are watching because your master said these things are going to happen before I return. We are watching for our master and will be honored. Whoever keeps the fig tree, guards it, protects it, watches it will eat its fruit and he who waits on his master watches will be honored so i hope that blesses you and encourages you and that you keep on as proverbs 27 verse 17 to 19 admonishes us in a time such as this god bless and shalom